What's up, beautiful Tauruses? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. Uh, welcome back to the subscribers, to the returners. I appreciate you guys and your love and support so much. And welcome to the newbies. I'm glad you stumbled upon this channel. I hope you like uh, what I have to offer you here today. Uh, so these are going to be general messages. Um, we're going to do a love reading for you, a tarot love reading. Hoppers are ready. Um, because they are general, that means that not everything I say is going to resonate with all the Tauruses out there. So please, guys, only take away messages for your best and highest good that resonate or seem to fit your circumstance or scenario. Um, use your intuition, use your own discretion, and best judgment and guidance. Um, anything that doesn't seem to fit your circumstance or scenario, you can toss out. You don't need to take on that energy. Um, and as with all these general readings, it won't always be your message. I hope lots of things resonate. I hope pieces and parts you can take away. Um, but generally, I just hope this helps somebody out there who needs to hear it, okay? That is my goal here. Uh, everything you need to know about this reading will be in the description box below, including the decks I am using, as well as the social media channels you can find me on. I am the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. This channel started um, about, oh, I don't know, April, so a few months ago. It's still getting off the ground. I've been overwhelmed by the love and support so far, so drop a like, a share, subscribe where you can, and I would be uh, forever grateful. All right, so we are going to hop into your reading here. We're going to start it off for Taurus in love. We are headed into Leo season, so happy Leo season to everybody out there. Fire, it's going to be fiery and fun. Can we get a quote card to start off for Taurus? Yes, we can. We'll get two, but we're only going to take one. <laughs> All right, Taurus, your quote, the universe has my back. That's the name of this deck. So awesome. Reassurance that you're not alone on this, on this journey, on this path that you are currently on. Um, there's the idea that there is something greater um, looking out for you. The universe has your back. <clears throat> and then we'll pull one energy card to see what's, uh, what's going on with the majority of the Tauruses out there right now. That one's a blowout. out. <clears throat> Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. All right, so some Sixth Chakra work might be in order there. <clears throat> All about intuition there <clears throat> and harnessing um, messages and um, messages and spirituality um, in, in our higher good. I think of like High Priestess energy when, when I come across that card. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to hop in. So this is a love reading. This first line is going to be how your person feels about you. If you don't currently have a person, that's okay. Uh, that person might be coming into your life. This may be regarding an ex you are no longer with. Take what resonates. All right, so how your person feels about you. Hell yeah, Ten of Cups. Their wish fulfillment, but more than that, their dream come true, their fairy tale ending. Somebody looks at you, Taurus, in very high regard. Could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But more than anything, you make them feel like a million bucks. Um, you make them feel like they are loved, like they are adored, like that you are, like the idea of somebody wrapping you in, in, in their arms or their angel wings, for that matter. You may offer great amounts of healing and joy and happiness to this person's life. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, we also have the conflict card, the five of wands. So fire energy, specifically Leo. It's funny, going into Leo season, I do think Leo cards tend to appear more in readings. This card, it, in different decks, the five of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the five of wands, has shown up in almost every reading I've done. So the idea of conflicted feelings, um, also the idea of competition, people fighting for the people they love, which can sometimes be in like a, a nice romantic way, somebody making it known that, hey, I want you in my life, I want to be with you. But it can also be a card of more like aggressive um, actions, right? Um, the idea of fighting or even inner turmoil, inner conflict, uh, battling within ourselves. I, I, I heard the term inner demons. I don't usually say that with this card, but that just kind of popped up there. Then we also have the Six of Swords, so uh, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and granted this could be just fire signs in general, Aries, Leo, Sag. <clears throat> so let's see what we can get here. Okay, so I think what this is, is you're either with somebody currently, or this could even be somebody just has a crush on you, but they're projecting this onto you, Taurus, of... Everything with Taurus could be so great and it could be so magical and it could be so wonderful that, you know, I want to have a family with them. I want to have children. I want to have house. I want to have a home. I want to, you know, this projection into the future, the distant future, right? Ten of Cups is a long time. 
but somebody is conflicted about whether or not it's time to move on. And I think they're questioning if your passion is in it, if they've been putting up a fight for quite some time, and I say putting up a fight, but fighting to keep this relationship or fighting to keep you guys together, or even just fighting to get your attention. If this isn't a solidified relationship, if you guys have been casually dating, or maybe someone's been stuck in the friend zone for years, this is them like exhausting themselves. And well, let's talk about action and passion, right? But then this is the idea of moving on because we've learned sometimes a harsh lesson, but essentially just lessons, right? We've learned everything that we can from the scenario. So now it's time to move on to, to bigger and better things, to more adventures, to things that potentially might be more emotionally satisfying. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, di different circumstances and scenarios for all the Tauruses out there. I do think somebody holds you in very high regard, but I'm wondering if the feelings are, are mutual, if, if you're feeling the same way. This could also be the idea of really struggling to maintain a long distance relationship, especially with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> particularly in Aquarius. <clears throat> but yeah, the feelings are there. The cups are there. Emotions. Yeah, journey. So again, the idea of distance. Um, and it could, if it's not physical distance, like across the country or across the state, it could be emotional distance. Again, if somebody is all in and they're wanting to offer you their cup, their love, right? They might be sensing that in order to, to get that love back from you, it's going to be a rocky road or it's going to be a journey of sorts, right? It's, it's going to require time, um, potentially travel. It doesn't have to be. <clears throat> or you could meet this person while you're traveling. That could be the other thing. If this person is, isn't in your life currently, I will say if you do meet somebody traveling, I think there, there will be you know some sort of joy or, or emotions shared together. But I will say, because I, I was clarifying the five of wands when this card came out, your person may be going through something, Taurus, where they're not completely able to commit at this point, and they may be conflicted of, well, gee, I met Taurus on the plane and I really like them, but... You know, I, I have to go across seas for business right now and it's not a good time for me. So interesting. There, there's conflict here, but there's also Ten of Cups, which is so optimistic and hopeful. So let's see what else we can get. So this is long-term potential with this person. Some of you may be communicating like psychically, uh, like without words. If this is somebody you already know, um, without even realizing it, when you're, you're thinking about this person, it, it spawns a reaction in them where they start thinking about you. Um, and I will say, because of the way this card came out, the universe has my back. If this relationship is meant to be, if it's divinely guided, you don't need to stress yourself out with like anxiety and all that, wondering if you need to chase this person or if they're going to chase you. It will work out because the universe wants it to if this is your person. And it might not be, right? For some of you it might be, for some of you it might not. But again, if it's divinely guided, the universe will find a way of like pushing you guys along together, if that makes sense. So it's not something you need to stress or worry about. But I will say it is opening your eyes to the fact that for a lot of you, there's someone in your life that, that has very strong feelings for you, that sees long-term potential, building of a family. And again, he healing energy from you, Taurus. <clears throat> this could represent you guys moving off together, right? There's multiple people in that boat, right? Starting a family in a different location. All right, so that's how they feel about you. This is long-term potential with this person. So the first card we have is the sun. There's that Leo energy. Beautiful. Um, things will be illuminated, right? Um, bright, joy, rejuvenation, um, just happiness, right? Um, confidence and pride in the relationship. Um, and something about this card, it, it's uh, cho choosing you. Like um, something about the idea of having many choices or many obligations, but either making time to select this person or of the pack, you stand out. It's something about that, the way he's, he's holding these planets in his hand. He's like, these two will be together. And that could also represent the idea of, of some greater force, whatever it is you believe in, right? God, spirit, angels, you know. I'm not here to push anything down your throat about spirituality, but whatever you believe in, there is something greater at work here that, again, it's trying to bring you guys together. Um, could be a water sign or an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it is falling under the cup, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but really it could be anybody. It could absolutely be a Leo. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so then we have 
the nine of wands, which is Sagittarian energy. All right, so wand energy. Again, more wands under wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. <clears throat> and this is sometimes the wounded warrior card, someone who's been putting up a fight and a struggle for, for quite some time. And that's sort of what I was picking up on in this. It's like somebody potentially has been fighting for your attention or to solidify this relationship with some sort of title or um, commitment. Somebody might just be looking for commitment and they see you as a little bit flighty, Taurus, or just not or just not able to commit at this time. So this is almost bringing it to the next level. It's escalating from the five to the nine where someone, they've been fighting for so long, they're just about ready to give up. And I'm just getting with this, you hold the power, Taurus. I'm just getting the decision rests in your hands if, if you want to pursue something greater with this person. But I will say it, it, it is kind of um, sobering and that this person, it feels like they've been waiting for you for a tremendous amount of time. And because this line is like a projection into the future, long-term potential, it's almost saying this person will wait a really long time, but if you feel something for them, why would you want to do that to them? It's almost like put them out of their agony now if you're not interested, right? Have that conversation that maybe it's a little awkward to be like, hey, I'm not really feeling this. But other, otherwise, your person is going to be waiting for a really long time and it's going to be very disheartening to them. And they could potentially lose passion and zest for, for how great this relationship could be, again, if you're interested. I'm not promoting you, you being with someone for the sake of being with them because, you know, they like you. But yeah, I do think most of you are aware that this person exists. I don't think this is a complete stranger. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Okay. Piscean energy. More of that like kind of knight and forward movement energy between this card and that. There, there is the idea of movement here. Knights bring changes in and out of our life. Um, yeah, your person is waiting for you to make either the romantic gesture or to acknowledge that um, the feelings that they've put on the table for, and I don't know if all of them have, they're waiting for you to reciprocate that or to meet them or for your cups to match, essentially, right? Um, and again, this this is representing you, this Knight of Cups, Taurus, and you have pause about it. You may have a strong Pisces or water in your in your chart. You may be like, um, let's see, what would it be? Maybe your Venus is in Pisces. <clears throat> Yes, yeah, something about this is giving you pause. You may think this person is too different from you. The idea of like fire and water and could, could we actually work together? <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, long-term potential, it's, it's a little bit hard to say, to be honest. The sun gives me very good vibes that it's like, if, if you select this option, you will make this work out. You will make this relationship work together. Um, but it's, it's going to require both parties, not just one. Um, but I, I do get the impression if you go into a relationship where you're just on the fence about this person, you're going to be stringing them along. And obviously that's not something you would really want to do to someone because you wouldn't want that done to, to you, right, Taurus? Um, so yeah, it's like the feelings need to be very genuine. And something about uh, authenticity here is important. It's not this projection of, of like this fantasy land of what this relation could be. Uh, because of this can be like kind of the dreamer, hopeless romantic. This could also be how your person's feeling, but there's a need to assess um, the reality of this situation to illuminate it for what it really is. And again, if the facts and figures don't add up in terms of feelings and emotions, then maybe it's time to move on. Um, you know, if you're already with this person, right? Projection into the future could go either way, um, but there, yeah, there's a need to like reconcile unspoken feelings and make sure that you guys are on the same page because yeah what i'm looking at now it's opposite it's fire and water it's not that those two can't work together they absolutely can um but yeah someone in this relationship is growing exhausted um in, in into the future right if we're projecting into the future the wounded warrior card there could be some hurt feelings if yeah if, if there is an honesty about about either this inner conflict or this conflict between the two of you all right, so then this last line is, what is your guidance, Taurus? First card is three of pentacles. Well, there we go. There's that reality grounded in earth energy, right? Capricorn energy. Teamwork. Who do you want to build with? Who do you want to work with? You're assessing this under who, who is your ten of cups? Who is your dream come true person? Who is it that is going to offer you the most love? And who do you want to offer your love and your cup to, right? Who is the sunshine in, in your sky, right? 
<clears throat> that song, Light of, what was it, Light of My Life, Love of My Life, that Queen song, that Freddie Mercury one, Light of My Life, I think it's Light of My Life, that just came to mind, maybe that means something to someone. All right, so your guidance, figure out who you want to work with, and don't keep them in the dark. If you want this player on your team, so to say, make, make that known. Um, there is something kind of sul sulky and mopey about your person too, because maybe they have it in their head that you've written them off already. And so if that's not the case, like, yeah, I mean, if, if you want something here, then I would say go for it. Four of Wands, so solid foundation. I do think this person has a lot to offer. Um, now this can sometimes be like the engagement, the wedding card. Some people see it as the soulmate card, people coming into unison. Could be a same sex couple relationship, right? With the depiction on this card. <clears throat> this could also, I'm just gonna jump back to this one. This could also be you whittling it down to, pe to different people in your life, Taurus. If you have multiple options right now in terms of who you want to build with, there's three here, right? Ideally, we want to get it down to two. <laughs> that, that's the general goal in, in, for most people, right, in relationships. Um, so yeah, this can sometimes be the soulmate card, the 1111, divinely guided. Again, that, that came up here. The universe has your back. This person might be on your path for a reason, um, for, for a reason or a season, right? You may gain some valuable lessons um, from knowing them, even if you just want friendship with them, which is totally fine, right? Um, but I wouldn't completely overlook this person because they have something to offer. And it may have to do with spirituality or emotional growth or illuminating you to something that you didn't realize before, even about yourself, right? I think some, sometimes the best and worst relationships in life, they really hold a mirror up to yourself to make you recognize either unhealthy habits or behaviors or ultimately things you want to change, right? Or, or I will, you know, the glass half full version, uh, things you aspire to be, right? Things you admire in your partner. Um, and that could be what this person does for you. Um, so don't put them through this agony and hell of, of constantly wondering where you stand, Taurus. Level with them. Be honest with them. Ace of Cups, yeah. Um, so this could be a renewal of, of a relationship if, again, if there has been conflict in the past. But this could also be a new start with someone. I was, for most of you, I was not sensing that this is a completely new person in your life. It could be, right? It's going to be a little bit different for all the Tauruses out there. This could also rep represent the idea of starting new or starting fresh, um, taking the taking the relationship to a new level. Again, if you've always been friends, it's like uh, the one up to a, like a solidified relationship or I don't know, for some of you, maybe having a baby or having an engagement party, something like that. Emotional fulfillment, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You do have a lot of wand energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And a, and a little bit of the other two, but heavy heavy water and fire energy here. So again, that opposites, do you want to merge them? Um, and because this card is falling right in the center of your spread, the idea of exhaustion um, and, and potentially you, Taurus, being defensive, I will say that. Um, it may be that this person has always been there for you. And when you don't return the, the passion or even the effort, I will say that there's tremendous amount of effort, I think, on your person's part. If you're not returning that, they will eventually understand that you're not interested and move on. And this could be you almost regretting the fact that you were so defensive or, or overlooking them or just not giving them the time of day when you should have. And I'm, no judgment here, right? I just have to read the messages as they present themselves. That is coming through here. It's like seize the moment, seize the opportunity if this is something you want that, that you think could bring you long-term happiness and commitment. But I mean, you have Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles as guidance. These are all bomb cards. Like these are all really good cards. So um, yeah, I, I would say do what your heart tells you. Do what, what your intuition tells you. What's in your emotions? Who do you want to build a solid foundation with? Who do, you want, who do you want on your team, right? We were saying that earlier. All right, so let's pull you one of these astronomy cards. I just saw Cancer at the bottom. You might be dealing with a Cancer. Let's see if we need to know anything else about this spread for Taurus in love, please. And with the Sixth Chakra Arching Archangel Metatron, there is something, again, about higher, higher source or spirituality tapping into the, the realms within you, but also messages being channeled from the universe, from spirit. Um, maybe some of you are questioning, is this my person or not? Do some meditation, do some, some like soul work, and, and that answer might become clearer to you. 
<clears throat> so the card for this is Jupiter. All right. Jupiter um, is, I always associate with Sagittarius, right? And, and also the planet of expansion. Um, also good fortune and luck. Um, so yeah, again, I'm getting good vibes from this person, even if it's not romantic, if, if that's not what you were looking for. There is something valuable about having this person in your life, and I don't mean in a way of what can you get from them. It's not icky like that. They contribute something to this world that it would benefit you to be around their energy and to possibly learn some knowledge from them, right? To spend some time with them, to be around maybe their healing energy, the, the emotion and the love that they're putting out into the world. That could be healing for you as well, Taurus, all right? It could, again, it could be mutual, because I was kind of sensing that in the beginning. If that's how they feel about you, well, maybe give it a try, right? Maybe pursue this, you know, um, put out your cup of love and, and see what you get back, right? All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. All around a pretty good reading, pretty optimistic. Again, it, it seems like the, the decision rests with you, so don't keep your person waiting too long. That would be my guidance to you. I hope that was helpful. I hope whoever needed to hear that did. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, Taurus.